good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for being here. I am Congressman Mark Takano, and I'd like to take a moment to thank my esteemed House colleagues uh, and the activists that have joined us today, Democratic Leader Hakeem Jeffries, Congressional Equality Caucus Co-Chair Sharice Davids, Speaker Emerita Nancy Pelosi, Human Rights Campaign uh, President Kelly Robinson, and National Center for Transgender Equality uh, Policy Director Olivia Hunt. And I see I've been joined by Chris Pappas, uh, Lizzie Fletcher, Senator Booker, um, uh, and, and uh, ranking member uh, Jerry Nadler. Uh, I also want to thank my dear friend David Cicilline, who is not here, for entrusting me with this legislation after his departure from Congress. David is a brilliant stalwart leader uh, for the LGBTQ community, and we are all indebted uh, to his service and advocacy. So it's an honor to be introducing the Equality Act today. And I take the responsibility of this critical legislation seriously. And I know I stand here today not only because of the countless hours uh, that advocates and legislators spent drafting this bill, but because of the pioneers upon whose shoulders I stand. The promise of democracy means a great deal to me personally because I have felt the sting of its denial. I am the child and grandchild of innocent Americans who were incarcerated in internment camps during World War II because of their Japanese ancestry, who faced intense anti-Asian discrimination before and after World War II. I grew up watching legislators in California host TV debates on whether gays and lesbians should be allowed to teach in public schools just a few years before I myself became a public school teacher. And when I ran my second campaign for Congress in the 1990s, I was publicly outed by my opponent and made the target of homophobic attacks. When I was elected in 2012, I became the first openly gay person of color to serve in Congress. Now, we've come a long way since then, and the progress towards equality that we've made is the result of battles that have been fought for the civil rights of our community over the course of decades. Yet today, we face a wave of backlash in response to that progress. As both a teacher and member of Congress, I've met with so many young people and families that are on the front lines of that fight. And while I'm the first openly gay person of color to have been elected to Congress, I'm hardly the first member, hardly the first gay member to have served. Now, since I was a child, I've been in awe of Congresswoman, the late Congresswoman, Barbara Jordan, a black woman and a lawyer who par whose participation in the 1974 impeachment proceedings deeply moved and inspired my own journey into public service. Congresswoman Jordan was a towering intellect, a tireless crusader, and she spent 20 years in a loving relationship with a woman during a time when being openly LGBTQ would have certainly cost her her career she had fought so hard to earn. Today, the National Archives recognizes her as the first LGBTQ woman in Congress. During a time when the Watergate scandal was shaking the nation, Congresswoman Jordan spoke with conviction that her faith in the Constitution was whole, complete, and total. Though the rising vitriol aimed at the LGBTQ community is evidence that we must not cease our struggle for a more perfect union. Like Congressman Jordan, Congresswoman Jordan, my faith in our Constitution and in this nation is also whole, complete, and total. It is my belief that all people are entitled to the fruits of democracy, equality, and justice for all. The, that idea of America, an imperfect country still full of promise, is worth fighting for, and that I stand as a living representative. But my faith in radical Republicans and in the extremist Republic, uh, the Supreme Court is not whole, nor complete, nor total. And that is why we need the Equality Act. A comprehensive bill to eliminate the possibility of discrimination in seven key areas of public life, the Equality Act would extend to the LGBT community the same civil rights that, every, that all other Americans enjoy. Under the leadership of Speaker Emerita Nancy Pelosi, this bill passed twice through the House of Representatives. 
And now it is introduced today with the support of the entire Democratic Caucus. Thank you for that, Majority Leader uh, Schumer. This bill is simple. It provides for full personhood under the law. Across America, Republican-led legisl legislatures are setting records for anti-LGBTQ legislation introduced and passed into law. And many of these bills target the most vulnerable members of the LGBTQ community. Young people who are afraid that their parents will reject them if they are out as LGBTQ. Not only are trans Americans being denied the most basic human dignities of being called by the right name or allowed to use the bathroom, they are being denied their own existence. They are, these are needlessly mean, discriminatory bills, and their passage has spread a palpable sense of fear among LGBTQ Americans, a fear that a brief moment in the sun has given way to a dark night. Yet we must remember that we have seen and overcome darker times. We have gone from the riots of Stonewall to the celebration of Obergefell. We have come out of the closet and survived the scourge of HIV. And just last fall, this Congress, on a bipartisan basis, sent the Respect for Marriage Act to President Biden's desk. Unthinkable, unthinkable 10 years ago. We have fought and won the right to serve in the armed forces of this nation we love, and we fight on today to win full equality under the law. So these are harrowing times, but there is a light of hope on the horizon, and that hope is the Equality Act. We are filing this bill during Pride Month, a time of celebration, but also an opportunity to reflect uh, to reflect a time when being out was nearly impossible, when our existence was universally criminalized. We cannot allow extremists in our country to once again normalize homophobia and attacks on LGBTQ people. We can't turn away from the discrimination that still exists for so many LGBTQ people today. We can't, and we won't, and we will continue as a community to persevere through these challenges. We will create a safer world for us to thrive. We will pass the Equality Act, and we will win. <laughs>